Here we are looking at accountability in the public sector. Accountability in the public sector. Under this topic, we shall be looking at, we'll look at the introduction. We'll look at the introduction. We'll look at the concept of accountability in public sector fiscal transparency. We'll look at the IMF code of good practices and fiscal transparency. We'll look at the condition that facilitate the promotion of public, uh, promotion of public accountability. We we'll also look at the measure to enhance the public accountability. We we'll look at why there still exists no effect in public accountability in Nigeria, where there, there where there still exists no effect in public accountability in Nigeria. And we we'll look at some examples, some questions uh, at the end of this there are 36 states and 774 local government each of which are allocated allocation resources every month aside from the major allocation to the federal government without commensurate provision of the public with the adequate social amenity. This chapter differentiates between accounting in the public sector and private sector and the concept of public accountability. Under this topic, we shall be looking at the difference between accounting in public sector and private sector and majorly the concept of public accountability. Concept of accountability in public sector. Accountability is an obligation to answer for the execution of one assigned responsibility. Accountability is an obligation to answer for the execution of one's assigned responsibility. It is the requirement to provide explanation about the stewardship of public money and how this money has been used. How this money has been used. And majorly in public sector when we are looking at this, we look at the concept of the economy look at the concept of the economy we look at the effectiveness we look at effectiveness we look at effectiveness we look at effectiveness and we look at efficiency 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 we look at the concept of efficiency and accountability comprises two distinct components. The concept of accountability comprises two distinct components. We have rendering of account and holding to account. Rendering of account and holding to account. Rendering, rendering of account, what does it mean? It is by rendering of account that the information about the behavior of a public organization can be obtained. This means that without rendering of account, there can be no accountability. If there is no rendering of account, there will be no accountability. There will be no way to measure what the person has done against what the person has been asked to do. Let's look at holding to account. Holding to account. This involves the exercise of judgment and power over public officials. It involves exercise. It involves the exercise of judgment and power over public officials. Public accountability can be achieved only if those who receive the account have power and ability to take action on the
basis of those account to take action on the basis of those account accountability is not just about the responsibility of public officer accountability is not just about the responsibility of public officer and the institution to the people the support to service and the institution to the people they support to service but also include a willingness it also include a willingness on the part of the office holder to submit to scrutiny to submit the account to submit account to submit account for scrutiny to submit account for scrutiny that is that means for examination to submit the account just like the accountant general of the federation is required to submit account to the accountant general to the auditor general for the federation appropriate scrutiny appropriate to the office in his holding examination appropriate to the office he is holding the principal means by which government department discharge its accountability responsibility is through public reporting is through public reporting which lead us to the concept of fiscal transparency the concept of fiscal transparency let's quickly look at the concept of fiscal transparency what does what does this mean this is the aspect of accountability which requires government to carry out all aspects of budgeting responsibility with openness this aspect of accountability requires government to carry out all aspects of budgeting responsibility with openness with trust with basic values and ethical standards and ethical standard so that it will have nothing to hide so that it will have nothing to hide from the public it will have nothing to hide from the public where a government has something to hide from the public public reporting is more likely to be infrequent or reliable and less comprehensive in order to hide material facts let's look at the IMF code of good practice and fiscal transparency the IMF stipulates a number of code of good practices and transparency and this include one class clarity clarity of role the clarity of roles and responsibility the clarity of role and responsibility the government sector should be separated from the rest of the public sector and from the rest of the economy also the policy and management role the policy and management role within public sector should be clearly stated and publicly disclosed should be clearly stated and publicly disclosed two open budget process application of open budget process adoption of open budget process there should be clear procedure for budget execution monitoring and reporting the budget preparation should be guided by well designed macro economy and fiscal policy objective a budget preparation should be guided by well designed macro economy and fiscal policy objective and it is by this that some of these are uh, uh, my practices or corrupt practices can be mitigated 
let's look at the public avail availability of information public availability of information is another point the public should be provided with comprehensive information on past current and projected fiscal activity on the major fiscal risk on the major fiscal risk the central government the central government which is the federal government should publish information on the level and composition of its debt on the level and composition of its debt and financial asset financial asset significant non debt liability significant non debt liability natural resources asset natural resources asset fiscal information should be presented fiscal information should be presented in a way that facilitates policy analysis and promote accountability and promote accountability